Hey everybody, Wayne here. In today's Let's Play, I'm going to do a complete playthrough of Pirates from David Kershaw and White Dog Games. Pirates is a one to four player game where you play as a pirate and you will be building a fleet, you will be conducting raids on ports, you'll be trading goods for gold, and of course, you'll be committing piracy on the high seas against merchant ships. Let's go down to the table where I'll do a brief overview of how the game works and then we'll jump into the playthrough. All right, let's do a quick overview before we dive into the actual playthrough. So in Pirates, it's a one to four player game. I'm of course playing Solitaire, so I will have myself, which I've chosen Blackbeard the Pirate, um, along with four AI pirates. At the beginning, you're gonna go ahead and draw randomly or pick a pirate. For the human player, the pirate matter, the pirate card matters a little bit more because you actually get a unique player action. So Black Bart here has the seven seas. Your ships may perform piracy in a sea zone they are not adjacent to. Blackbeard has one where he gets to re-roll a die during the piracy. However, that can only be used once per game. But when it comes to the AI, they don't get to use that unique player action. However, you are going to use this AI player bidding chart to roll to determine their action each turn. Um, when you look at the map here, and I have everything set up other than I don't have the ships deployed or trade goods deployed onto the map here. Um, you can see I have Blackbeard in the bottom left of your screen. He has a gray die, and I went ahead and used the gray icons, gray counters, with the skull icon in the corner. So every different set of counters will be assigned to a pirate during your game. You go ahead and just pick randomly. They have the color, and then there's also is an icon. So if you're colorblind, you have difficulty seeing the colors apart, you're going to have that icon to refer to. You can see up top of your screen, I have four pirates. Um, I put the yellow, and what I'm doing is I'm using um, dice to kind of help with, to tell them apart up here, tell them apart on the map, and then also when I'm rolling dice, I know exactly who I am rolling for um, at a glance. So you can see you have the yellow, we have the orange, which the counters themselves are more of a peach color, but I'm going with orange, blue, and then this, which is more of a pink, but I don't have any pink dice, so I'm using a purple die. Um, on the map here as well, you can see we have different ports. So whether it's Louisiana, Panama, Barbados, Bahamas, these different ports have an allegiance, which as a human player, I have an allegiance I have an uh, allegiance to England. However, the AI will not have an allegiance. They are considered full pirates. I can become a full pirate that takes an action, but there are pluses and minuses. When you are a full pirate, you can only port at any of these three pirate ports. You can see, obviously, the um, flag here, the old Jolly Roger flag in the top right. Nassau, Tortuga, and Port Royal. The rest of them are going to have an allegiance if you're a player um, with an allegiance like I am, I can go to any port, even if it's, you know, to a different country, to its France, let's say, but I just can't go to the full pirate ports. Um, during each turn, um, you are going to, and I'll run through the quick sequence play real quick before we dive into the game. There's gonna be a booty phase. We're going to be rolling on this chart to place trade goods at the different ports. You're going to be drawing from a merchant card deck. You will then be placing these merchant ships out in one of these three locations, and you're gonna be putting goods, gold on those ships. Um, then after that, you're going to the bidding phase. In the bidding phase, this is where you choose your action, and the AI player will pick theirs randomly based on that chart on their card. Those actions are gonna be things like building another ship, um, going out and committing piracy against one of the merchant ships, raiding one of the ports, or conducting trade where you're gonna convert your goods into gold. After the bidding phase, you go into the action phase where those are carried out, and which we'll cover in big detail um, when I actually do the playthrough. After that, there's going to be an end phase and then a possible victory phase. The point of the game is, you know, you're going to be going out, you're going to be building up your fleet of ships. You're then going to be going out and either, you can kind of focus on what you want to do. Do you want to raid merchant ships? Do you want to, or just commit piracy against them? Do you want to raid different ports? Now, one thing to keep in mind, you look at each of these ports, they have these counters here, a trade rating and a port defense. These numbers are going to influence when you are going to trade your goods into gold. Um, and then also the port defense is when raids are conducted against those ports. Again, we're going to go into detail on all that stuff when I actually do the playthrough. The game is played over between 8 to 12 turns. Once you get to turn 8 turns, there's a little numbers, a little bit of numbers down here. Um, one to two ends, one to three ends, one to four ends, etc. You are rolling at the end of each of those turns, starting at turn eight to see if the game ends early. So you never know exactly how many turns you're going to have. 
So if you spend more time at the beginning building up your force, you may not have accrued enough victory points to actually get the victory before the game ends. How do you accrue victory points? Super simple. So this victory point track over here on the right starts at one, goes up to five. There are three tracks, although the boxes are kept together. One for popularity, which is your accrual of gold and then spending gold towards popularity. Infamy, which is successful raids. And then fame, which is successful piracy. Once a player gets to five, they're going to win, player or AI. Or once everything is done, if no one has gotten to five, which I ha find happens quite often, you're going to check to see who has the lowest of these and then go ahead and kind of eliminate them, work your way up to whoever has the highest of their lowest number, one of these, and they're gonna be the winners. All right, I think that covers the basics of the game. Obviously, there's all the little mechanisms at play I haven't explained. That's okay, I'm gonna explain them during the playthrough. So let's go ahead and finish this setup, which we're gonna have the AI pirate ships are gonna be out at the different pirate ports. Mine are gonna be at any um, British port, British allied port that I want. Um, and uh, trade goods will be set out, and we'll get the game going. All right, let's begin. All right, it'll be the first turn, finished setup. Um, so I went ahead and rolled and placed, and you can see there's a number here in the bottom right of the different pirate ports, one to two, three to four, five to six. I just rolled to place the AI ships, and then I went ahead and placed mine in the Bahamas, um, again in a British area, British port. Um, in addition, for the AI, just give them a little boost. You go ahead and roll for a bonus at the beginning of the game. Um, you can see that blue and purple pirates up here end up with additional uh, trade goods, or they got trade goods from none. And then the um, orange and then the yellow pirates over here actually ended up with an infamy point and then a fame point. So they are already on the scoring track, which is not too good for me. Okay. Now remember the colors of the dice are all different pirates. And then the only color not, I didn't, I don't think I explained, was just the black. The black will be the system. So like when they're raiding a port or fighting a merchant ship, the black will cover the system. Um, okay. Turn one, you start off, booty phase. You go ahead and roll a 1d6. This will determine where goods are placed. You go ahead and check the random port table up here. I like to place it right there. Um, you want to grab up five trade goods, especially at the very beginning. Go ahead and just work your way down. So La Habana over here, over in Cuba. Campiche, let's see, oh, right over here, the Bahamas, so that's where I am, Martinique, and then St. Eustatius, all right, there we go. Now you're going to go ahead and roll for a merchant ship. What I like to do is I like to roll two dice at once. The first one's going to be the location, that'll be the black die. Locations, we have the high seas, the East Caribbean and the West Caribbean. See, one to two, three to four, five to six. And the gray one is gonna be the roll that's on the card. I like to roll the two dice at once just to make it go a little faster. So first off with the black is a six, so we know he's gonna be over in the West Caribbean. And we rolled for, or drew, excuse me, a frigate. British defense equals five. One of the larger warships that threatened the pirate's way of life. Very inconsiderate. <laughs> so we go ahead and place that down. Um, yeah, and our roll for the four is the cargo. Four to five is five goods. Now it has five goods, so it's a pretty tempting target, but it also has a defense of five considering it's a frigate. So is there gonna be a piracy against it? Eh, we'll see what the AI, the AI is gonna do what the AI is gonna do. So, okay, that's the booty phase, very simple. Let's go on to the bidding phase. Now, the when you play with multiplayer, the humans all bid at once um, and it's secret bidding, right? And then it's revealed. During with AI players, the humans bid first, which is just me, so it's not kind of an open open uh, bid. Um, I want to build up my fleet first. I want to get that started. So I'm going to go ahead and select the build action. So I'm going to go ahead and put that out there. And I like to put them just right here. That's how I do it. After that, you go ahead and roll for each of the AIs to see what they do. Now, there are some things like if they don't have a ship, they'll automatically build. Um, or if you roll a build, but they already have three ships. Because they can have a max of three only. I can have a max of six, which is my counter limit. Um, if they have three and they roll a build, there's, there's going to be a separate action that explains at the bottom of the card. But starting off, they only have uh, one. I have two. Let's go ahead and roll. All right, work away left to right. So yellow rolled a two. A two is piracy. So he actually is possibly, if he can, going to go after the frigate. And then orange, we rolled a six, which is build. So he's going to join me in building. Blue rolled a four, which is raid. So they'll be conducting a raid against a port. And finally, purple rolled a three, which is a raid. So he'll be joining 
the blue pirate on the raid. So that's the thing is, and I'll explain this in a minute, is, you know, some of the actions, you know, building is just kind of solo. But when it comes to the piracy and raid, you're actually doing them together or potentially doing them together. You'll see. Okay, so let's go ahead and go. We've finished the uh, bidding phase. So now we go to the action phase where all the actions are carried out. You go ahead and you would do pass first. The AI very rarely passes. Human player, this is where you would, um, you can move your ships around or you can revoke your allegiance, become a full pirate. Um, we went ahead and bid a build. So we go to the second uh, action step is build. Now us and the orange are gonna go ahead and build ships. Let's go ahead and I'll build mine. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and build it. I'm gonna build it. I can build it in any of my um, allied ports, right? So I need the British ports. I'm gonna go ahead and build it with the rest of my fleet here in the Bahamas and start building up my uh, pirate fleet. The orange pirate is gonna, with the little cutlass on there, he's gonna go ahead and roll because he's gonna build a ship and it's gonna be at one of the pirate ports. So it doesn't automatically join his other ships. A two, that's actually up here. So he's actually gonna go up to Nassau up here. Okay, and then we go ahead and I just like to set them, move them out of the way so we know that those actions are resolved. Now, next would be piracy, which the yellow pirate is going to go commit some piracy against the frigate if he can. Um, however, looking at the map here, so his only ship, and we'll go into maybe more of the detail when this one, when they get resolved, this one's not going to happen. So looking at his ship, it's here in Tortuga. Tortuga, the port, does not have access to the West Caribbean. Each of these ports, you know, their location on this map matters. Um, you can see how the sea zones, right? And I mentioned the high seas, East Caribbean, West Caribbean are broken up. You can see these dotted lines. These areas are separate. Now, if a port straddles the line, they can go into both sides. However, Tortuga, although it kind of is right at the edge here, the designer clarified it only is in the high seas or East Car uh, Caribbean. It cannot do all three. So he cannot reach this frigate because this frigate is in the West Caribbean. He can only access the high seas or East Caribbean. Therefore, he will not conduct any piracy. So we just won't take any action this turn. Go ahead and put that back. All right, now there'll be a raid. Now the raid should happen here. So how do you do a raid? Pretty simple. First off, you're going to go ahead and try to find a lead player. This also applies to piracy, by the way. So the lead player is going to be a player with the most ships. Now right now, both the purple and the blue pirate only have one ship each. So we know that's not going to happen. After that, you just dice off for it, determine randomly. I like to do a little dice off, so I'll do purple, blue. We'll go ahead and roll, see who is lead. <laughs> Both rolled sixes, nice. Okay, let's roll again. Cannot share lead. All right, purple wins, so we'll just leave purple on top there. Now what you do is they're conducting a raid. They're going to look for a port that has trade goods or gold with the lowest port defense. So we have, and what is it? We have uh, purple and blue right here, and they're in the same port, actually. So we know that if there's a port available for them to go after, they're definitely both going to send their ships. Um, we can look over here. They can access, they're right here in Nassau. So they can access the high seas, or they can access the West Caribbean. We have port defense of three in a trade good. And I think... Is that going to be it for them? Oh, no, wait, down three, three. Yep, so any of this port, this port where I am in the Bahamas, this port or this port. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the uh, number one is purple. He won. So let him get this roll for it. So I'm going to do one, two, oh, one, two, three, four. And then five, six, we'll just re-roll. Four. So all the way down to here, he's going to go ahead and tack uh, Martinique here. So... I'm going to go ahead and grab them up. They're going to raid Martinique down here. I can put the leading one up top. All right. Raid, super simple how to figure it out here. Attack total is the D6, which we'll just roll the die of the, of the lead AI player. Um, 1D6 plus the number of ships involved, which is 2. For defense, it'll be 1D6, which remember we'll use the black die for the you know, ports and the merchant ships against adding the uh, port defense. So base of two plus 1d6, base of three plus 1d6. So they're at a disadvantage, but you never know what can happen. So go and roll. All right. So it looks like they're probably going to win here. So they have five, six, seven versus three, four, five. Yep. They won. So what happens? First off, this trade good gets split up. So this booty, as the game calls it, gets split up. It'll be split up as evenly as possible but in kind of an interesting way. So the lead player gets half rounding down. 
Because there's only one, and yes, the designer clarified, that means they do not get it. So technically, the lead player is not going to get this trade good. It's going to go to the blue pirate, which he has a one, so we'll just actually flip it over. There's no other booty to divide, so that's it. However, just because the lead player didn't get any booty doesn't mean they get anything out of this. Because both that um, the purple and the blue pirate were conducting a successful raid, they're both going to gain an infamy. So you go ahead and find their infamy counters up here and you go ahead and place them which the orange pirate had one just from the bonus at the beginning so now three of the four pirates have one point of infamy and again that's going to help them either get to five in it or just have a minimum number right have a the highest minimum number of theirs to earn a victory that way okay that was a successful raid here That'll be just the both raids, and we'll go ahead and put the action um, action counters back. Now, the action phase is completed, and after that, um, by the way, so we did, there was no pass. We did a build, we did a uh, piracy, but we didn't actually conduct it, the raid, and then there would be any trade. Nobody picked trade, so that's not going to happen at all. Now we go into the end phase. This is where any ships at sea are going to go ahead and return to port. They're going to go ahead and go back to a pirate port because they can't... Uh, can't hang out in a, a regular port like that. I mean, especially the port they just raided. So let's go ahead and roll for them. See which pirate port they end up at. One, he'll end up here. And then five, he'll end up over here and Port Royale. Okay, is that every, yep, every pirate ship or my ship, all the ships are back at ports. Um, now, if you had a gold, you could spend it to increase your popularity by one, which no one has any popularity points right now. Um, or you could spend it to build a ship, which, yes, in addition to the build phase, you could build two ships. Or if the game has reached turn eight or later, you now check to see if it ends by rolling on the turn chart. If it did, you'd go to the victory phase, determine who won. But we haven't reached that point yet, so we're going on to turn two, and we'll start it back at the beginning during the booty phase. All right, booty phase, go ahead and roll 1d6 on the random port table. Roll the two. So go ahead and start placing the uh, trade goods out here. Port of Genia, down here, they get one. Panama gets one. Jamaica, do they have one already? Uh, oh, oh, no, they did not. Um, Cape Francois or Cape Francis and Syracuse. Cow gets one. Okay. And now we go ahead and roll for that merchant ship. Again, like to roll two dice, not to roll ahead of time. Area one, so we'll be out in the high seas here. Flip them over. A cutter, a British ship, British defense of three. And it'll be a little bit of info on what type of what that is, you know, what type of ship in their kind of historical role. And a five for their cargo, which is three goods. Alright, okay, that's it for the booty phase. On to the bidding phase. I'm going to continue to build up my fleet. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do for right now. So I'll put a build action out. Let's go ahead and roll for the AI. See what they do. Left to right as usual. So yellow roll to four. That is piracy. Orange roll to five. That's a raid. Don't worry, I'm going to get into piracy and raids. So I just like to build up my fleet first. I like going out there with only, you know, a couple ships. Blue is five. That's also a raid. And finally, purple is five for him. That is also a raid. So there's going to be a big raid going on here. Okay. All right. The bidding phase is over. We go to the action phase. Go ahead and resolve them. Left to right here. So the build, that'll be me. I'm going to go ahead and place them with my other ships. Now there's going to be the piracy. See if that happens this time. So piracy is yellow. I think he tried that last turn, didn't he? Let's see if he can go after somebody. Sure looks like he can, although I don't know how lucky he's going to be here. So lead player, well, it's only one, so he's going to be. Can he access anyone from where his ships are? Yep, he can access this cutter here. He only has the one ship. Correct me if I'm wrong. So he's going to go after the British cutter. Just like with the raid, very simple to resolve. Go ahead and roll a die for the attacker. So Number of ships, which is one, plus 1d6. Defense is whatever the defense number is, which in this case is three, plus 1d6. Go ahead and roll. Very, very, very simple. 
So a total of three attacking and a total of four defending. You have to get greater than a defense. Not equal to, you have to get greater than. So it is not. Unfortunately, it is actually less than. So unfortunately for him. So this yellow pirate ship is sunk. Now, he has no pirate ships on the board. So next turn, he will automatically conduct a build action. Just so I don't forget, what I like to do is grab the build counter, place it on the yellow die. That just reminds me then next turn when I go to roll for the bidding phase for them. Oh, wait, he is going to conduct a build. All right, so piracy was unsuccessful. There's no other negatives, and obviously he does not gain a fame because it was not a successful, which is bad for him because he already had one fame because that was part of his bonus at the beginning of the game. Okay, now there's going to be a raid conducted. Now it is going to be, let's see. Who Did one of the pirates have more than one ship? Yes. So the um, orange pirate, he has actually has two ships here. So he is going to be the lead on this raid. And now they go figure, figure out where they're going to raid. Um He is going to go ahead and pick a member of the port that has the lowest defense that he can access from his ships here. So it's going to be, I believe it's going to be St. Eustace here, or Eustatius. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, I don't pronounce, not, know how to pronounce half these ports. That's okay, though. So it's going to be Orange, which both of his can get there. It's going to be Purple which is going to be, where's he at? Can he reach over there? No, he, oh, he can actually, yep, he can. And then blue, which he can as well. Okay, look at that, a whole bunch of them over here. Okay, just like the other raids, it'd be very easy to resolve. You go ahead, you have orange, you have purple, and you have blue. However, the lead is going to be the orange, right? That's what we figured out the lead was, yep. And it'll be rolling against the system here, which their port defense is only three, so. Orange was one, two, three, four ships, plus the die, so seven, versus a port defense of one, plus one, four, obviously greater than. I'm going to go ahead and take the trade good here, their successful raid. The trade good, member does not, in this case, for dividing booty, lead player gets halves. There's only one, so he's not going to get it. Um, the only as possible, it'll go to one of the two here, so it'll be the blue or uh, purple. So I like to let them roll for it. Tied, jeez. All right, blue gets it. Oh, where'd it go? Right there. All right, so the blue pirate is going to go ahead and get the extra trade good. And both, um, or I should say all three, of orange, purple, and blue are going to get a infamy, which I believe they're all right here already because orange, blue, and purple. So they're actually going to go up to two on the infantry, or <laughs> infantry, on the infamy victory chart here. So very nice for them. Okay. And that is actually it for the uh, action resolutions here. I'm starting to get ahead and I gotta get out there and get after it here. This is crazy. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the ports, which those three are the only ones that are away from a port, correct? Yeah, so both of them to see which pirate port they go to. Orange is gonna go to Port Royal. Purple goes to the Bah. Oh, excuse me, Tortuga, and blue also goes to Tortuga. Okay. All right, and that was during the end phase, so we're all done with this turn. Nobody has any gold or anything like that. Nope. All right, so we're done with this turn. So we're gonna go on to turn three. All right, turn three. Let's go ahead and begin with the booty phase. The six again. So, La Habana over here in Cuba. Campeche, I believe we already had one, yep. Bahamas, doubles up there. These are all the ones we rolled last turn. Martinique, well, they were raided, so no more four. Guess what? More trade goods now. Um, and then St. Eustatius, well, I'm getting one as well. Okay. All right, now we go ahead and roll for the merchant ship. It'll be in area four which is right here, and a roll of five for cargo. Sin is the Panache, Spanish Defense 2. Small ship often used for transporting between bigger ships. And we roll of five, which a five is one gold. Whoa. Yeah. Um, 
I wish I could go after that one, but my ship is in the wrong, my ships are in the wrong location. They can't go after it. Oh no, that's too bad. Oh, that sucks. I can maneuver them so they could get where they could go after them. Maybe move them down to Barbados. So let's, uh, yeah, let's see about maybe doing that. Um, okay, so what we'll do is that's it for the booty phase. Go on to the bidding phase. Let's do, should we do a pass? What do you guys think? And one thing you may be wondering is like, why don't you you know, go after and do uh, Pirates Against the Cutter or the Frigate? I can't because they're British elite, British allied. Because I have allegiance to England, I can't. I can only target ships that do not have a British allegiance. So another downside of being, um, you know, having an allegiance as a human player. So let's go ahead for us. Um, I want to get out there and do something here. instead of just sitting here building up, uh, building my forces. So let's go ahead and we'll pass, which allows us to move ships. Um, we're going to move all our ships down here to Barbados. Yeah. Okay. And let's go ahead and roll for, uh, oops, roll for the AI ships. However, remember, yellow is going to build. Take a and move till later, but doesn't matter. Whoa, okay, all sixes. So, um, yellow, we know we're building. Um, orange is going to be a six, it's gonna be a build. Blue is gonna be a build, and purple is gonna be a build. So literally everybody builds except me, which is actually kind of good though. So everyone's gonna go ahead and build. I'm not even gonna put out um, a counter because I'm just gonna go ahead and place for everybody. So, every single enemy pirate builds. And let's roll randomly to see where their ships end up. All right, purple, he ends up in Port Royale. Blue ends up in Nassau. Orange ends up in Nassau as well. And then yellow and also ends up in Nassau. All right. Pirates getting a few ships out here. Last game I had, they didn't have a whole lot of ships. This one, they're definitely getting some ships out there. So, um, remember I did, I did a pass, I did the move. They did build. So no other actions are taking place here during the action phase, end phase. Ships at port, they're not at port. Nobody has any gold yet. I hope to get some gold from the panache over here next turn. So we end the turn and we go on to turn four. All right, start of turn four, booty phase, roll to four. Get these goods out here. Okay, Campeche down here. Where'd it go? There we go. There are three. Oh, they're getting a good amount too. Uh, Cartagena from one to two. Jamaica. Um, Jamaica, yeah, we're over here. Louisiana gets one. This one. San Eustatius, they had one, they get another one. And that's it, okay. Now we roll for the merchant ship. Hopefully it doesn't replace the ship down here. So, cause if you roll, you replace them and then you conduct a random event, which one of them is gonna get replaced. So three, I jinxed myself cause it was um, the one down here. So we go ahead and uh, draw the next one. Um, it's gonna be down there. And his cargo is five, which is three goods. And then you want to go ahead and read the random event. So be, whenever you roll for merchant ship to replace another merchant ship, the one that's being discarded, you're going to check the random event at the bottom. Smugglers, roll for a random port. Remove all booty in that port and replace it with one gold. Wow. Remove all booty in that port and replace it with one gold. Okay. So roll a random port. Um, it's going to be 6-6. Six, six. So we'll do the top, the row, and then, or excuse me, the column, and then the row. Uh, with black first. So column black, which is six. So six. And then one, which is La Habana over here. So replace with one gold. Yep. So the two trade goods disappear. And then one gold makes an appearance. Really wish I had uh, stayed over at the Bahamas now, huh? Um, and then we go ahead and discard Panache and put pink, a French shell drafted cargo ship in its place. Okay, and that gold goes into the ether. It was delivered, I guess. It was delivered over there. Okay. Um, yep, that's it for the booty phase. Now we go to the bidding phase. Um, I'm definitely going to go after the ship here. Um, was it a... Yep, I'm definitely going after them. So I'm going to commit to piracy. 
And let's go ahead and roll for the AI to see what they do. Yellow first, five, that's a raid. Orange is one, that is piracy, so he will try to join me in piracy. Blue is three, which is a raid, so he'll try to join yellow pirate in the raid. And finally, uh, pink is six, which is another build action for him. He's building up his forces. Okay. Go to the action phase. Let's resolve them. No pass. Build. Yep. Purple is going to go ahead and build. And he's going to build at Port Royale, which already has a ship, so he'll join his other ship there. Piracy. No, I have the most ships of anybody, so I will be the lead player on it. Um, I'm going to choose to go after, at this point, I can only go after one, go after uh, pink here, and I'm going to move all of my ships to attack. Um, we look at, where is he? It is orange, correct? Yep, the orange pirate. He has forces here, which cannot access the East Caribbean, and here, which can. So they will go ahead and come over and assist. And just like before, we're going to roll. I get to roll um, both of us. And we have, I have four ships. They have two. So that is six. Six plus the die roll. His defense is two. Two plus the die roll. So he should be successful. Whoa. So we got an eight, but I had six and plus five, 11. So we were successful. All right. So remember, doing a booty, lead player gets half, rounding down. Fortunately for me, half is two. So I do get both of them. And then the um, pink player, or orange player, excuse me, will get the other two. And then because we were successful in our piracy, we will gain a uh, fame, which orange player, he did not have one, so that's good. And then I didn't, which is not good, but now I do, so that's good. My goal, I think, in this game, especially since it started off a little slow, is to try to get, instead of going for five on anything, I'm going to try to get a minimum the highest, uh, lowest one, you know, so say at least a uh, one in both, you know, all three gold raids piracy. So let's see what we can do here. Okay. So he is discarded. We sunk him. Okay, good. All right. Now piracy is complete. So let's go ahead and do the raid over here. Conduct the raid. Blue and yellow will conduct the raid. Blue has two ships, yellow has just one. So blue will be the lead on that. Um, where are they gonna raid? They're gonna raid, again, it has the lowest port defense, which is definitely gonna be Louisiana over here. Um, however, only one blue ship can make it. That's okay, they only have a port defense of one anyway. And then yellow is gonna go with, which only has one ship, so he will go as well. Blue is the lead, so it'll be two plus a die roll, and then one plus a die roll. Oh, they crushed him here. Very successful. So, five, six, seven, two. <laughs> so, they were successful. Um, one trade good, though. So, we're going to go to yellow. Remember, the lead one is only one. He's not going to get it. So, it goes to the yellow. And then, for a successful uh, raid, they're each going to gain an infamy. What is this? Blue and yellow are each going to gain an infamy. Which blue goes up to three on the infamy. Wow. Yellow does not have any yet. So, he gets one. Okay. All right, and that was it for the raids here. Starting to pick up some action here. Raids, pirates, taking out uh, merchant ships. We got some action going on here in the high seas. Okay. Um, end of the action phase. We go to the end phase. All the ships are going to return. Um, mine, I get to go ahead and pick where I want to go, which at this point, well, shoot. I know, it's kind of tough. Let's Let's just go to the Bahamas. Um, and then they will return to a random port. So what do we have? Blue, yellow, and orange. And a pirate port, I should say. Tortuga. Coral. And then Coral as well. Ooh, a little force built up there. Okay. All right, that's it for the... End phase, right? Because there's no gold. If, by the way, if the AI has a gold, they're automatically spending it to build up their popularity. Um, nobody has any gold, so let's go on to turn five. 
All right, start of turn five. Here we go. Let's go ahead and roll for booty phase of three. So we're going to have, first one goes to Panama, which already had one, so it goes to two. San Juan, Puerto Rico. Let's see. See if we can go say hi to uh, Stuka Joe. Um, Jamaica over here. They have one, now they're up to three. Narnique over here, one to two. Oops, it's counted around here a little bit. And finally, Siracow goes to two. Okay. All right, roll for the merchant ship. I mean, area uh, two, which replaced the cutter up here. And he rolled, we rolled a four for the cargo, which is one gold. Ooh. Trail after him. All right, so here's a random event member will come into play. Scandal. If one single player has more popularity than all other players, that player loses one popularity. Ooh, nobody has any popularity, though. So, whew, lucked out there. So he is discarded. And the Batash shows up over here. Okay. All right, that's it for the booty phase. Go to the bidding phase. I see that gold on that Spanish ship, and I want it. I want a piece of that gold. I want all the gold, in fact. So I'm going to go ahead and become a pirate right now. It's, yep, it worked out pretty well last turn, right? So let's go ahead and try again. Um, yeah, absolutely. Then we'll go ahead and roll for AI. Yellow is a five. That is a raid. That's just a <laughs> five. Orange is five. Now, remember, all the numbers, some of them have different, um, the charts are different, though, so just because the numbers are the same doesn't mean it's automatically going to be the same thing. Um, blue is five. That is trade. Oh, interesting. So I'm just going to try to trade. And purple was four, which is a raid. So, okay. Well, I think I'm gonna get, I may get this gold after all. We'll see. It depends on how I roll, though. Okay. Go to the action phase. Pass. Nope. Build. Nope. Nobody's building. Piracy. Aha, that's me. So I'm the lead because I'm the only one doing it. I get to choose. I have one choice anyway. The Batash here going after him with my fleet of four ships. Let's see what we can do. as a defense of three, though, so just kind of depends on how I roll. So it'll be my four plus one D6 plus then their three plus one D6. Come on. So I need to basically roll equal or higher on the dice. The dice will determine. Equal or higher. I cannot roll any lower than the dice. So let's check these dice. I'm gray. Yes. Perfect. All right. Five to one, baby. So I absolutely crushed them. All right. So because I'm the only one involved, there's only one gold. I'm the only person involved. So that booty, um, which by the way, booty is either trade goods or gold. That's just the term form. If I haven't said that already. Goes all to me, baby. Yeah. All right. And I was successful in a piracy action. Therefore, my fame goes up. Beautiful. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Sunken, taken, sold, whatever. doesn't matter. I am the king of the high seas right now. All right. Ooh, feeling good right now. Get that action out of here. Okay. All right. Now there's going to be the raids going to be conducted. Um, figuring out who has the most ships. Looks like it's going to be orange or, oh, actually, maybe orange or purple. Two, three, two, three. They each have three, huh? Which is, they're at their max now, by the way. Can't build anymore anyway. Um, yep, so either orange or purple. So let's go ahead and roll the dice off to see who actually gets the lead. It'll be orange. So orange will go ahead and take the lead on the raid. Um, then again, they're going to look for a port that has the lowest port defense that also has goods um, or gold involved. So, and who is the lead? The orange is the lead. So he is here and here. So he can access literally any um any of the areas so we're going to go and check all the ports there's a three that has something two four three so they're going to go after uh cape francois here cape francis with its one yep okay orange is the lead so again he's going to send so he's going to send his two ships here that ship can't access so it's not going to go after it and then it'll be um, purple, which whatever he can send, which he can send him, and he can send them. We're going to crush this port, I'm thinking, and then yellow, which he can send him here as well. So, go ahead and have orange roll for him, and then again, the black dies the system. It is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, plus their die roll, 
and then two plus the die roll for the port. Yeah, they win. So it's going to get divided. The lead's not going to get it. It's going to be either purple or yellow. Let them roll for it. Yellow gets the trade good. Yellow pirate, so he gets two trade goods now. And then purple, orange, and yellow. Were successful raid. So, let's see. Infamy goes up. So what is what is it? Purple, orange, yellow. Oh, it's all these guys. So, gonna go up. Boom. Woo! Look at that. They're up there though on the uh, old infamy. Getting close. Couple more. A couple more. We'll see. I mean, hopefully not for me, right? Okay. And then that was it for the raids, right? Yep. So the raids are resolved, or raid was resolved. Now we're gonna we're done with the action phase. Let's go to the end phase. Ships return. So, oh nope nope, we're not done. Sorry, I just spotted the blue trade. Whew, almost jumped ahead there. So the blue trade. So he is gonna blue is gonna try to trade. Um, unfortunately for him, he doesn't quite have enough. So what he was doing right trade. This is the first trade action of the game. Um, I hope to have one soon. I think. What he's trying to do is trying to get a gold. Um, he's trying to trade his goods for gold now. What you do is, depending on what port they're at, they check the trade rating. That's how many goods it takes to be, get a gold. Um, he has three goods. He needs four because he's at Tortuga. Because I think this is only ships, right? Yep. He was at another area, another port, one of the pirate ports. Let's see. Four, four, four. Actually, they're all the same. They all have four. So he would need four goods to earn a gold. He only has three. Therefore, nothing's going to happen for him. Invalid action. Sorry, buddy. Too bad. He went there. He tried to negotiate. And the uh, people at the port at Tortuga said, not a chance today. Not today, buddy. All right. End phase. Now we do the end phase. All these ships are going to return. Let's see. Yellow, orange, and purple. Yellow goes up to Nassau. Uh, orange goes over to Tortuga. And purple. Is going to end up over in Port Royal. Okay, and then mine, I have to go ahead and put back, I've got a port. What am I thinking for next turn? See, this is where you can kind of think a little bit of strategize of like, what do I want to do next port or next turn? Um, maybe try to raid a port or something. Mm, I don't know, something, right? What does that mean? Um, I think I need, yeah, I need a successful raid. So I do need to raid a port. So, okay, let's go ahead and do. Let's just put them in the Hamas and we'll go from there. Okay, so that's the end phase. Now remember, players may spend one gold to increase popularity or buy a ship. Ta-da! I actually have a gold now. So I'm going to spend that gold to increase my popularity. That's right. Spend money to become more popular. It's just like modern times. Boom. So now I have one popularity and two on the fame. If I can get a successful raid completed, I will then have the highest minimum um, because all all the pirates, all the AI pirates have at least one like scoring marker off the board here, which counts as a zero for that. So that's my strategy anyway. Let's see if it pays off. Okay, I think that's it though for the end phase. Um, turn marker advances to turn six. Let's begin. All right, turn six here. Roll for the booty phase, five. La Habana. Oh, they had gold already, so now they're going to be up to a and then on a trade good as well. Cortegina down here. Three trade goods. Barbados. Trade good. Bahamas. Another trade good. And Louisiana gets a trade good. Okay. All right. Now let's roll for merchant ship. Area two, which is the high seas. The Guineaman, Spanish ship, and roll a six for cargo is four goods. Ooh, not too bad. Okay. All right. It, for the booty phase, onto the bidding phase. Like I said before, you know, my goal, right? I've, I have some, I've committed some piracy. Uh, I've bought my, some popularity. Uh, now I need a successful raid. I need a little bit of infamy as well to kind of balance out my pirate reputation. So let's go on a raid. Let's do a raid... I'm going to choose, well, I will be choosing. It's not there yet, right? But I'm going to commit to a raid. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be the lead ship or lead pirate because I have the most ships. 
um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and pick. All right, so apologies. Um, like a minute into turn six, the camera stopped recording. I didn't hear it stop. I played through the turn. So unfortunately, it was not recorded. Um, there was, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to remind exactly what happened. Um, I conducted a raid, Louisiana, along with, I think it was Orange Pirate. Um, he was, yep, and we were successful. So I gained a Infamy. Did push Orange, though, or Purple was it? Purple was with me. It did push Purple, though, up to four. So now he's at four Infamy, so dangerously close to the five, um, which, which could potentially give him the victory. Um, and then I believe it was, I think, um, Yellow went on a raid. Maybe it was Yellow and Orange went on a raid. Um, both, they were unsuccessful, or excuse me, piracy action. They were unsuccessful, lost a ship. So now Yellow is going to have to do a build. Yeah, I'm not going to replay the turn because it would just play out differently. So that's what happened. Um, sorry about that. I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Um, but yeah, let's uh, go ahead and move forward. So we're starting turn seven. I'm on the I'm on the board with all three. However, purple's looking good up here, so we'll we'll see what happens as we get close to the end of the game. Okay, start of turn seven here. Let's do the booty phase. A six. A little Habana. Where is it at? All right, over here. It's two and there's a gold there. Whoo wee! Can't peach down here or not down here over here. The Bahamas. Four trade goods there. Uh, Marnique and St. Eustatius here. Okay, that's it for the trade goods for Booty Phase. Now let's get that uh, merchant ship out there. Area one, so it'll be the high seas and rolled four. So it gets three, three gold. Holy cow! Whoa, okay, all right. Um, Spanish galleon, treasure galleon. Oh my gosh. All right, now we do the special event here, Ghost Ships. Any player with no ships immediately gains one ship to place as per the build rules. That's yellow. He does not have a ship, so he does get a ship. I'm going to place it in SO. Go for him. And let's go ahead and get this other pirate out of here. Or other merchant ship, excuse me, merchant ship. All right, there we go. Three gold. Holy cow. Okay. All right. That's it for the booty phase, onto the bidding phase. Um, I feel pretty good. So I have one of eat of everything. I'm on the board here. I do like that. Um, obviously, it could be something that I could try to do a little better at. Um, let's go ahead and let's do a trade. Let's do a trade action. So I'm going to do a trade action. And we'll go ahead and roll for them, except for obviously um, yellow, he had to build. Um, Oh no, he does have a ship now though. He won't build. So I guess my little little trick doesn't work if he already has a ship now. So he's gonna go ahead and roll. All right, starting with yellow pirate, a three, that is piracy. Orange pirate is five, that is a raid. Blue pirate, four, that is also a raid. And finally, Purple Pirate 4, also a raid. to Join on a nice big raid here. Okay. All right, go to the action phase. Let's go ahead and resolve this here. So Yellow, is gonna do, yellow Pirate is going to commit some piracy here. He uh, senses the galleon here. He goes after the smallest defense, so technically he's going down to the frigate. And it's only him, so good luck. One versus the five. Yeah, that's, that one doesn't quite make sense, but oh well. That's what happens sometimes in these games. Let's go and roll. Six and six. Unfortunately, six is an automatic win. He gets crushed, so his ship is obliterated. And I'm going to do the old build trick. And nothing good happens to him. Okay, piracy action done. So I'm going to do the raid here. The most ships is easily going to be purple. He has the max of three ships, so he'll be in charge of this raid. Remember, they're going after the lowest defense that has goods, which looks like it's going to be probably... Your cow here or Panama. So let's go ahead and just roll one, two, three, four, five, six. So they're gonna go ahead and go down to Panama. He will go to Panama. And then who else was with? Blue. He can't reach Panama. And then orange. 
He can reach Panama from up here, from Nassau. Okay, so you will join him. Okay, they're going to go ahead and check. They have three, four ships versus two defense. Five and five, so they are victorious. Five, right? Plus four is nine. There's seven. So they are victorious. So the trade goods are going to get split. Um, one each. One to purple. One, two. What are they at here? Yep, one to purple. He has one. And one to orange. All right, and then purple and orange each get a infamy. So orange goes to four and purple goes to five. <sighs> so um, we check, we're gonna finish out the game here. Uh, finish out this turn, I should say. And put everybody back. Well, I'll conduct my trade, which I am at a port here. I'm gonna go ahead and trade. I'm at Bahamas, trade rating of two, so I can trade two trade goods for gold, which I'm gonna do so. And that'll be it for the action phase. We go to the end phase. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and... Hmm, hang on. Should I spend a gold to do that? I mean, it doesn't really help me per se. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and spend a gold build another ship. I'm going to build my ship over here in the Bahamas. And let's just see what we can do with that. So, okay, that's it for the end phase. But we go to the victory phase because the purple pirate, Captain Kid, has achieved five infamy. Therefore, he wins the game. Purple pirate, Captain Kid, congratulations because of your victory, I will read off your card. Captain Kidd. William Kidd was a Scottish privateer who mainly fought the French. He was headstrong, which got him into trouble, and ultimately led to his hanging when Britain and France made peace, which he had ignored. Well, well, Captain Kidd, you know, you didn't get hung, at least not yet, but you did win this game of Pirates. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought I had a good chance getting all of them. Um, so I'll be honest, that's how I won my last game, but... You gotta watch out, because Captain Kidd over here, he just got, he was very successful on his raids, raiding ports, became his specialty, and uh, there you go. He gets the victory, so you never know what can happen. Even if you think you're gonna win, sometimes you're not. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you made it this far, and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe, it's free. Just press the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. Um, also, let me know what you think of this game and my video in the comments below. Otherwise, um, until next time, everybody, later.